A man is a wolf rather than a man to another man when he hasn't yet found out what he's like. Plautus, asinaria. Hello again. Let's continue analyzing Cervantes' masterpiece. Who is Master Pedro? There's a lot of debate. Note that he is defined by his profession, an entrepreneur entertainer, as well as his geographical range. He frequents the region known as La Mancha de Aragon, that is, the eastern portion of La Mancha that borders Valencia and Aragon. This geography alone means that Master Pedro carries political meaning. Valencia and Aragon suffered the most from the expulsion of the Moriscos between 1609 and 1614, losing between a third and a sixth of their respective populations. It's also worth noting that the nobles of the Kingdom of Aragon were particularly enamored of chivalric romance. In fact, the infantry of Philip II crushed a kind of knightly rebellion in Aragon in 1591. Another way of thinking about this, the dreamy chivalric fantasy of the Cave of Montesinos in Castilla-La Mancha was the worldview of the nobility of Aragon. In other words, Master Pedro welcomes Don Quixote into a world he has always dreamed of, and the spectacle of Melisendra's liberty is an allegory for Aragonese independence from Habsburg Castile. Oh, and one last detail, Don Quixote's journey east is also political. Hidalgos had political representation at the court of Aragon, not so in Castile. Another important aspect of Master Pedro's arrival is Cervantes' continued focus on economic value and exchange. The innkeeper observes that people are prepared to pay for his monkey's divinations and his puppet show. And Master Pedro responds by saying that he will moderate his prices. Did you know Don Juan of Austria had a pet monkey at the Battle of Lepanto in 1571? It was trained to bite off the arrow shot into the mast of his galley so that the general ship would appear untouched by the enemy. We learn from the innkeeper that Master Pedro is rumored to be very wealthy. It is believed that this Master Pedro is extremely rich and that he charges two reales for his monkey's answers to people's questions. Like the devil, however, the monkey cannot tell the future only the past and the present. When Sancho offers to pay to know what his wife Teresa is presently doing, Master Pedro underscores the formality of the economic exchange. First services, then payment. I will not receive payment in advance without first performing my services, he says. Before asking his monkey to divine Teresa's activities, however, Master Pedro shocks everyone by recognizing Don Quixote. He throws himself at Don Quixote's feet, describing our knight in epic terms. I embrace these legs just as I would embrace the two pillars of Hercules, O oh, glorious reviver of the now forgotten knight errantry, O oh, never sufficiently praised knight Don Quixote of La Mancha. He then tells Sancho that his wife is drinking wine and preparing flax for weaving. Sancho is inclined to believe him. Don Quixote's identity is once again at issue. He thinks Master Pedro exaggerates, but he is happy to be recognized for who he is. I give thanks to heaven, which blessed me with a soft and compassionate soul, inclined always to do good to all and evil to none. Notice how Don Quixote's peaceful vision of himself contrasts with the pathetic destiny of the young soldier who lacks the money to inquire into his own future. If I had any money, I would ask Sir Monkey what will happen to me on the journey I am undertaking. Don Quixote informs Sancho that he is concerned that Master Pedro might have made a pact with the devil. For only God is permitted to know all times and occasions. He wonders why the puppet master has not been arrested by the Inquisition. I am astonished that he has not been denounced before the Holy Office. Quixotic Mission According to Master Pedro's monkey, what is Teresa Panza currently doing? 
A. Making love to the town's abbot. B. Visiting the house of Tomé Cecial. C. Drinking and weaving. Correct answer, C. Drinking and weaving. But then he tells Sancho an anecdote that proves that divining is just trickery. An astrologer once predicted that if mounted on the proper days, a woman's lapdog would give birth to three pups, one green, one red, and one mixed. Cervantes, again, alludes to the mixing of races. Sancho ignores the anecdote and tells his master to ask Master Pedro to ask his monkey if what he saw in the cave of Montesinos was real. Master Pedro says that the monkey is ambivalent. He says that some of the things that your grace saw and experienced in said cave are false and others are true. With this subterranean uncertainty in the background, we turn to the show. Thank you for joining me in this chapter. I hope you can join me in the next one too. Don't miss out on the adventures of the ingenious gentleman Don Quixote de la Mancha. To enroll in the course, click on the novel. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on Don Quixote. To watch more videos, click on Dulcinea. And to follow us on our social media, click on Sancho Panza.